Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you're all well. So it's been a month now since I showed you guys uh, the bridge that I'm commissioning down in Surrey, Suffolk, Suffolk. And uh, yeah, it's uh, going very well. So let me give you a quick tour around. So I haven't been here that much. I've, I've done about three, four weeks here. So last time my video went out that elevator there and then I showed you the bridge, but well, I went out that, entr that entrance over there. I'll show you, but there's now, there's now an elevator there. So that's the elevator, current entrance, walk in, here's going to be, I think that's that's the shower I think, and then this is a comms room, then there's another comms room, I don't get involved in any of the, the domestic wiring, that, that sort of stuff. Then this is where my remit begins, which this is the generator room, so this massive storage container thing is a generator massive diesel generator and then these panels are the panels that my company designed and then i tested them so you got big air circuit breakers here so these are rated at 1600 amps big boys uh, let's see if we can open the generator There we go. So this is the HMI for the generator. And then a bit of a power control panel. And that's the massive generator. Big diesel generator. So I'm actually going to communicate to this via Modbus. I'll climb inside quickly and show you the control board. So if you don't know Modbus, it's somewhat old technology, but it's really good because you can just talk to everything. So this is the board of the generator and then that board over there i'll be talking to it from my plc via modbus which is pretty cool 600 volts ac it's pretty amazing really the circuit board obviously this is no diesel fuel in here and it's turned off so no chance of it starting yeah big fat diesel generator all right so the, I'll go through like the power diagram design another time but basically what you want is you've got two transformers outside and they basically drive all the hydraulics that lift the bridge uh, let me close that door so yeah the, the transformers drive motors which lift which drive pumps hydraulic pumps that lift the bridge and uh, this is basically for if any of the transformers fail then i need to be able to kick this generator in so this is the switchboard room so over there outside that door there's two transformers they then bring in 1000 i think 1600 amps each one into this panel via the floor into that panel and then one into this panel here so if, you, if I went in there now, there's live, I'll show you actually, but as long as I don't actually touch anything. These are some big live boss bars. <laughs> Just look at the size of that cable. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, so that's live now. So, those come into these ACBs. These air circuit breakers, I can switch them remotely via the PLT. So what you've got is you've got two switchboards, switchboard A, switchboard B. These, one of them powers uh, this panel, which is like the PLC panel. So this is where you've got all of your network switches, blah, blah, blah. And then here's the PLC rack, 1500 PLC with ET200 SP remote IO. So that controls, this tiny thing lifts the whole entire bridge. So if I come out of here, so that's the switchboard room. So if, if any of those transformers fail, then I need to detect the failure, knock off this switchboard, bring in the generator, and then send the generator power over to the hydraulics. 
So this is the hydraulics. So you've got eight massive main motors, 132 kilowatt. These are controlled by these starter panels. So you've got one HMI here. Um, there is actually like a control room upstairs where the operator will sit. So this down here is just really for, just for maintenance. But so that's the layout that I just showed you whereby you got the generator, you got the generator panel, the control, the PLC control panel, the, the two switchable panels, and then now we're at these power pack A and power pack B panels. And these feed these two massive hydraulic HPUs, hydraulic power packs, power units. So we've got some PLC remote I.O. in here. I'll show you. Uh, then we've got some more up there on the tank. So we've got PLC remote I.O. for Mr. Relays and then uh, pump drivers. It's all pretty cool stuff. So both tanks are identical. I'll climb up one of the tanks a little bit. I won't go too high. There's all the hydraulic filters, valves, and same on this side. So there's actually four motors and pumps, small ones, on the tank. Two boost and two pilot. And then you've got four main motors. As in, so two boost, two pilot, four main motors. And then behind me, over here, Yeah, pretty cool. And then just at the back here, you've got a fire control panel, which I don't get involved with. So, let's just, I'll spin one up real quick. For you guys to have a listen. Oh, this is actually what the inside of these power panels look like. So you've got a whole lot of Ekaton USB from my, uh, so I like, I program it, I create the screens, test the panels, test the H hydraulic power pack unit. So you end up becoming a man of many, many hats. Uh, I need to, I need to log in. I will not show you the password. All right, so I've got motors and then let me configure which ones I want to start. So B and then I want, let's just do one main motor. There we go. Overview. Start one. Very loud. Yeah. Yeah. That pilot pumps are running. There you go. That's just with one main motor. So with all eight, is extremely loud. And that's with them offload as well. When they loaded, as in the pumps are actually delivering out to the bridge to lift it. It's extremely loud. So this picture is actually what the bridge is going to look like. And then where I am, so this is the massive bridge here. I'm currently standing down at the bottom there in the pump room. So up at the top, which is really high up, like four floors up, is the control tower where the desk will be. And that's where the operator will actually look at the bridge and lift it. Uh, yeah, so this whole pu entire pump room is just inside that little room there. It's pretty massive, man. Pretty cool. I'll have my job.